and welcome back to another fantastic part of Mass Effect 3. So we are continuing the, the Leviathan DLC. As you remember in the last part, we were here at Mahavit. This is where we first found the, um, the, uh, what's it called? Um, huh, I forgot. Oh yeah, uh, the thing that kind of indoctrinates um, humans. And guess where we have one? Right in the center of Scylla. Perfect. I mean, how st more stupid can you even get? Mm, yeah, I got everything 100%. And now we're gonna return to um, Bryson's base. I'm just gonna check if I got. Yep. Yep. I got it all. I got everything at 100% assets recovered. Ha. Enter orbit and dock. Dr. Bryson's lab. Okay, here we come. Hello. So, why did I return here again? Oh yeah, the artifact. Presumably. Yep, there it is. We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Good. Damn thing's been here the whole time. Why won't we affect it? Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Yeah, I know. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Yeah. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. Again? Again? Come on, let me just check. If I can upgrade ED, yes I can upgrade ED, yes. Well, of course, I'm gonna go with the... God damn it. No. <laughs> okay. What's this again? Ah, uh, infected again. It's already good enough. Oh, yes. I get six more. Yes, I'm upgrading this. Wait, what's the defense magic? Uh, no. I'll take this. Good, need this. All right, let's. Interesting about the artifact structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, nothing of relevance. Great. Again, nothing relevant. Is there anything relative here? Nope. Edie, what project was Garno working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Got anything on Basilisk? Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. 
Gates. It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. I meant the project, Edie. Oh, a message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scarra paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garneau, but I can't get through. What? We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Anne Bryson was attempting to contact Garneau on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. She sounded worried. Yep. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She yep. said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call it the Nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. Again! <sighs> Can you identify this, Edie? It originates with a pre-spaceflight culture, but there are none recorded in the Pylos Nebula. Does anything in Anne Bryson's work history suggest where she might be? Nothing relevant. Any idea if Project Scarab involved Element Zero? Unlikely. We may learn more from the project requisition. Any correlation between Project Scarab and these unexplained creature sightings? Not beyond Leviathan itself. Anne Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Can you track its movements? No. The Reapers have disrupted civilian comm buoys. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. There are... Icarus. Here we go. The ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system. Yes. Otherwise, they would have chartered a less expensive ship. Okay. We can rule out the relay system. You serious? Oh my god. How long is this gonna take now? The locker is secure. We must locate an access card to open it. Great. Based on the search data, <laughs> you find a drawer now. For the requisitions locker. Yes. According to records, it was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain equipment for Project Scarab. Good. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. Water recycling equipment. Wind protection gear. Didn't need an environmental suit. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. Based on the data, only one system remains a viable possibility. Good. Let's go get Anne Bryson. Finally! All right. So, as soon as I get back on my ship, we'll be ending this episode, going to that, you know, planet, and that's it. It's amazing how we never crash into one of those cars when we go right through them almost. I mean almost right through them, really. It's just, it amazes me. Those damn driving skills, man. Okay, so, where do we go? Here, yes, scan the exit. Oh boy. Signal confirmed. Yes. Oh. They're here. Help me. Run. Faster than 
than light jump successful. Okay, so I'm just gonna, you see, we gotta get to the Zaharian. I'm going to get 100% assets recovered and like that. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.